This is John. John is a sweet and lovely boy who won multiple awards in school, has many talents, spends his free time tutoring others, and is well liked by his peers. At the age of 13, John's father was relocated to Singapore and his whole family came with him. As John could not speak English fluently, coupled with the fact that there was little opportunity for him to interact with the other students, John quickly found himself being isolated from various social circles and became the subject of bullying. This was especially so on Twitter, where they posted racial remarks and personal attacks on him. John quickly changed from a cheerful and outgoing person who always carried a smile on his face to a reserved and fearful student. Eventually, John fell into severe depression and he had to drop out of school. The story of John doesn't have to turn out this way. Social media platforms sometimes bring out the worst in us, and this might be mitigated if we proactively create a kinder environment for all online. Imagine if we have a computer system that can tell us whether tweets are of a hateful nature. When we have an individual who is prone to abusive behavior online, the computer system can quickly identify them. This ability to identify such individuals would allow us to take measures to prevent such behavior online. If we create a kind of online environment, someone like John might then be able to use the internet for more meaningful interactions with his peers instead of living in the fear of being the subject of bullying online. We thus have our project, where we aim to explore how machine learning can be used to create such an intelligent computer system that is able to tell us whether tweets are hateful or not. To train any machine learning system, we need data. So we started with a data set of 100,000 labeled tweets. We did data pre-processing first, where we used various NLP techniques to clean the raw tweets that we had. These include simple techniques like removing stop words and punctuations. We then used more advanced techniques like TFIDF vectorizers and word embeddings to transform our tweets to different kinds of encoded input that can be used for model training. We also measured how well these models perform against the various inputs. As for the machine learning models we used, we tried out the simpler traditional machine learning models to establish a baseline performance before moving on to more advanced techniques. We also attempted to use a more complex deep learning approach where we used multiple layers of neurons to determine if a single tweet is hateful. After trying a combination of traditional machine learning and deep learning, we managed to achieve 94% accuracy in identifying abusive tweets online. With more time and data, we aim to work towards the model that will be able to identify the tweets with 100% accuracy. This will prevent the sad story of John from happening again.